On this episode of Rugged Expeditions, we're going after a monster Rocky Mountain bighorn sheep in the unbelievably tough terrain of Hell's Canyon. You know, there's a reason why they don't call it Hex Canyon. Stay tuned. Brought to you by Gunworks, the long range experience. On this episode, we're hunting in the breathtaking Hills Canyon, one of the great geological marvels of North America. You know, quite surprisingly, however, to most of the world outside of the Northwest, this natural wonder remains virtually unknown. It's located roughly along the borders of three states, Idaho, Oregon, and Washington. We're gonna be hunting the section where the Snake River splits Idaho and Oregon. The actual canyon itself at its maximum depth measures an astounding 7,993 feet deep, which makes it the deepest canyon in all of North America, deeper than even the Grand Canyon. It's over 10 miles wide in some places at the top and stretches to a length of about 125 miles. Incredible area. This awesome Hell's Canyon region is home to an abundance of wildlife, including large numbers of black bears, elk, mountain goats, and deer. However, we're here to chase after the elusive Rocky Mountain Bighorn. Incredible country. This whole Hell's Canyon area is out of this world. I mean, you have everything from steep grasslands to heavy forest in some pockets, all of it leading down to the Snake River. We're winding our way down through this hillside here to get to a boat launch to where we'll be able to put in there and then run downstream, excuse me, run upstream, I believe we're going, to a camp that these guys know of. There's a place where we can get a boat in and set up a camp in there, so I'm excited. On this adventure, I'm hunting with Dan Blankenship and the crew at Sheep Mountain Outfitters. And of course, Bailey and Landris, who oh, yeah. you may hey. remember, helped me on my California bighorn hunt, where we took an absolute monster of a ram. On the horizon. He's on the left now. Yeah. Are you steady? Yeah. Okay. Where am I? All these years of dreaming about getting a sheep right here in my backyard, and I finally got one. And a dandy. Look at this thing. It'll be a piece of cake. That's right. They're, we're, no worries. I'm They're going to be excited. calling it Heaven's Canyon when we get done instead of Hell's Canyon. It's right. going to be that easy. Well, That's what we're hoping. Yeah. But Dan, Dan and one of his guys have been up here for a few days. Uh, he may not be calling it Heaven's Canyon right now. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's supposed to be 108 today. Yeah, awesome. Well, at least we got a boat that's got the right mojo going for it, so let's load up. The whole Snake River system and the Hell's Canyon area has very little road access, which has kept it a truly wild and remote wilderness area. The beautiful Snake River flows through the fabulous canyon, providing recreational opportunities for fishermen, hikers, rafters, campers, as well as hunters.
We had arrived a few days before the season opened to search for Big Ram. I'm using my favorite rifle on this trip, my Gunworks Climber that's chambered in 7mm Remington Magnum. This area is known for huge rams, but as always, they're extremely elusive and a true old bruiser of a ram is always hard to find. We found our sheep. He's a just gorgeous one, massive and heavy. He's up here skyline in the evening, it's 7.40 at night. He's real distinct, he's got a chip on one side on his horn but he's just amazing, comes all the way back up. He's a stutter. Yeah. This, is a a this is a sheep right here. It's so strange to be glassing from down on the river and looking up into these canyons. And with this hot weather that we've encountered, we weren't sure what was gonna happen, where they'd be. You know, the sheep are in this general, you know, unit, but it's not like they're standing on the shoreline waiting for us. But We've seen him now, so now we just gotta have him stay there, huh? Yeah, a day and a half, huh? Don't move. <laughs> One more. It's been in the same area the last three days, so. Fingers Hopefully crossed. He stays with his buddies, too. Yeah. Rocky Mountain Bighorn were thriving in this area when it was first discovered by Lewis and Clark. But as the word got out on the abundance of wildlife and grazing land that was available, white settlers soon moved in and killed off most of the wild sheep for food. And those few wild sheep that remained were killed off from diseases transmitted through interaction with the hundreds of thousands of domestic sheep that were brought in. Eventually, all the domestic sheep grazing permits in Hell's Canyon were taken back by local and federal authorities, and now all the domestic sheep are gone. This has allowed the wild sheep numbers to thrive in the Hell's Canyon area. So the guys spotted the sheep, they're up here and across, and they're up on a bench up above here. So one of them came out. As we were coming along, we spotted him. It's one of the young ones, huh? Yeah, that one yeah that stood the young out. one that was up there. And then when we slowed down to glass, we could see that the others were just laying up there. You just see the tops of their horns and that. So at least we know where they're at. Now we just got to do the sneaky sneak. And, but we have professional sneaky sneakers with us today, so this should be a piece of cake. <laughs> Right. We're gonna enjoy it, that's for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Watch this thing for three or four days, now we're ready to go hunt. Let's go get X time. Let's go see these sheep up close. Hey, is this that milkweed stuff we've been talking about that those sheep have been eating? So they just, they're eating these green leaves. Yeah. Seem to be food of choice as of right now. Yeah, look at that stuff though, it's so sticky. Breaking All right. Off. See that white? Yeah. Side? That's that milkweed. That, that's what's on the... On their they, faces? Yeah, that's why their, yeah. you know, their nose isn't very white. They get that on it and all the dirt sticks to it. But it's one of the few green things that's even out here this time of year, so it's probably delish. You know, when we're watching them there, that's all they do is running from weed to weed. That milkweed just to eat it up, strip yeah. it up. Well, plus they're trying to be healthy and use all the food groups, so they're getting their dairy products <laughs> by eating this. <laughs> Milkweed.
the rams are. The rams are right up there. Oh, yeah. Right there. I think if we get our stuff out, crawl right up here and get Chase set up right up here, we'll be a Is good ours? range. Yeah. Is that big one still laying down? Yeah, I see that little one laying there. Yeah. He's right. just to the left of it, I think just a little bit below him. You can just see the top of his horns? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. We'll get our scopes out here and make sure that's that, that's our guy, but looks like him. Want to make sure we stay low when we crawl up on this bench so we don't skylight. That's like 410. Over here. Yeah, if he comes down there, that'd be super. Okay. Yep. Him coming out oh, on the yeah, left there? Yeah, right on the left. Just you can see the top of his horns there. <laughs> Was he decided to run all of a sudden? Oh, oh stop. Okay. No, no shot. No, no shot.
Let's go. All right. <laughs> he shot. Oh yeah, there he is rolling down. Yep. Nice. Way to Awkward go. <laughs> it just nice. rolled him. Knocked him off his feet. Great shot. Great shot. Oh yeah. Yeah, what a sheep, man. What a setting. All right. Enough of this. Let's go see what this thing looks like. Absolutely. Yeah, you can see where he rolled there. Oh, okay. is that him? Yeah. Right? Up against that rock? <laughs> nice. Congratulations again. That was awesome, a good, man. Great shot. That was a good follow-up. <laughs> Something kills me. That ram might have a few cacti in him. <laughs> Look at that ram. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that baby. Nice. What a shit. Yeah, congratulations, wow. man. Thank you, guys. Wow. Beautiful, what man, a monster, man. right? Holy cow. Wow. What a tremendous sheep. Look at the age on this thing and the mass. Huh? Look at this. And look at this chip. I mean, he's got this huge piece missing out of right here from fighting. He's lost, I don't know, half an inch of horn mass right here that's broken off. These old warriors like this. And look at this here too. He's got some kind of a hole in his face where his cud was coming through when he was chewing. We were watching him up on the mountain and it was coming out of there. And that's probably why he was, you know, continuously laying down and that. He had a bit of a hobble too. You know, this is one of those sheep you really want to take when you're out hunting. Get these old warriors that are done breeding, you know, he, I don't know if he would have made it through the winter or not, but he's still in pretty decent condition as far as fat goes, but it's because of these conservation programs, these sustainable use conservation programs, organizations like Wild Sheep Foundation are doing such a fantastic job about keeping sheep on the mountain for everybody to enjoy. You know, they only take one of these sheep on, uh, out of this unit every year. Sometimes there'll be a second guy on some years that'll come in but throughout the state, very few permits are given out. And that money that's raised through these hunting programs is what allows these vast areas to be protected so that these sheep can be here. And it's wonderful. And so to take one of them out of here and so the rest can all live is the key part of the whole sustainable use conservation method that's worked so well here in the West. A dream come true. And how about the whole crew that made all this happen? Come on, you guys, get in here. We gotta get the whole crew in here for some rugged X rambling, if nothing else. We had a lot of help on this to find this big boy. Nice job. Thank you. <laughs> what a sheep, Isn't he huh? awesome? Yeah, he is great. Everybody, Woo! I can't Woo! let go of me so damn heavy, I'm gonna roll down the hill with him. <laughs> These guys have all been part of the team. Dan and the gang, and Bailey and Landris, Sheep Mountain Outfitters, just doing a great job for us, helping us find a big old mature ram like this. Can't say enough about the service and the great guiding that we've had throughout this whole adventure. Great morning like this, huh? Holy smokes. Yep. And old number two just became the new king of the mountain, I think. Right? right? No, they didn't know what to do when their buddy was. Yeah, isn't that something? Yeah, he goes all the way through. Right through. 
I hate to say that we might have done him a favor, but we might have done him a favor. Perfect point to take. All right, well now the hard work starts. And just like our last sheep hunt, this is why you get the guys from Sheep Mountain and Bailey and Landris to come along because somebody that's sitting here is gonna be drinking beer watching. <laughs> <laughs> and it's getting hot, so I'm just saying, you know. Well, thanks for packing that up for us. What are, <laughs> what are friends for, you know what I mean? While this hunt was not as difficult as most sheep hunts I've been on, it was still an incredible experience. I have to admit, yeah, I was a little disappointed in that I had trained hard for months before We're the almost hunt, there. making sure I'd be in sheep shape for this special hunt, only to end up getting really, really lucky on day one. But hey, I'll take an easy one when I can get one. This will make up for all those trips that don't exactly go according to plan.